With the Artemis rocket launch now scheduled for Saturday, the Grand Rapids company will be closely watching for its success. Engineers are developing an important component that's expected to travel around the moon on the Artemis II mission in 2024 and eventually to the surface. New at 6 o'clock, Kyle Mitchell explains how West Michigan is helping to explore space. As the U.S. prepares for its first Artemis launch. The team is very passionate and has a lot of ownership around our piece enabling that overall mission. Dorner Works in Grand Rapids is getting ready for the next phase of the moon mission, Artemis II. What uh, the Dorner Works team has enabled is a, a Ethernet switch on a chip that's like the size of your thumb. Not all computer processors are created equal. Few can withstand the harsh environment of space. Business Development Director Greg Wild says the advanced technology shrinks down something that's typically the size of a pizza box that connects electronics for communication. They're specialty chips that are really good for information processing with low power and small footprint. And so you can imagine in a satellite or a space um, system having something that's small that can do a lot of computing. The device will be on the crew module and is expected to land on the moon in future missions like Artemis 3. It basically allows other modules to be able to connect on the internet. Dasha Georgieski, a senior engineering manager on the project, says the team is working to design an important component. A good example is it will provide internet connectivity to even the astronauts to be able to do maybe even like a video conferencing with their families while they're in space shuttle. This is the room they're working in to develop that Ethernet switch that'll be going to space. They work on racks like this one to develop the technology. It has been uh, over two years, two to three years de uh, development. Georgieski says the work is ongoing following very tough performance standards from NASA, but it's a task they're happy to take on for the next chapter in exploring space. For um, an environment like space where the radiation is super high, so we needed to ensure that we have design practices to mitigate that radiation, um, as well as have an architecture that fits, you know, in the, the system. In Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.